Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. We are here at Expona 2023, and we're here with Katie Wilson from Lynn Products. That's right, yeah, hi. hi. You know what, Lynn is a legendary name, old school, kind of old boys network. Doesn't look like someone like yourself would come up in the Lynn world. What is your role there at Lynn? You know, that's not the first time I've heard that. Um, I have been at Lynn for just over six years now, yeah. and I came in initially as a brand ambassador, so I was doing a lot of events with our retail network. And following on from that, about a couple of years later, I moved into business development. So now my role right now is working with North America wow. to really um, raise awareness and grow our brand awareness here. So. so that's why you're here at Expona, the largest show in North America, right? And we're talking about this issue of diversity, you know, age, gender, race. You are breaking some boundaries here. You seem younger. You're obviously a woman. Um, can you talk a little bit about your experience or your thoughts on this? Are we m making progress here? <laughs> um, I think it's definitely slow to progress, um, but that's okay. Um, I think with Lynn, we're really lucky to have quite a large number of women within the sales and marketing team at Lynn, mm -hmm. um, and also our training team and events team as well. Um, so Lynn from Hi-Fi Pig had arranged a women's group meetup at Munich last year, um, and we were delighted to take along three women as part of that and took up you know, half the table, which was great. Um, so slow to progress I think but there's definitely you know wonderful to have female colleagues working in the industry um, and it's always nice to meet people at shows like this. So you've seen progress and you've seen Lynn make progress what would you suggest why have they made it what things have they done to make it better um, and what would you suggest the rest of the industry sort of start to think about? I think we're lucky and potentially in a bit of a different situation in that we're a family owned independent company and so we really, you know, interview people and take them on their merit, you know, we're not, um, we're not, we, we really um, look to hire people based on their personalities and what they can bring to the role. We do not hire from the old boys club if you like. We're not looking for industry veterans, we're looking for people who can bring something um, special and inject something into the role and into the company and it's really the the kind of changing times within the company which is great to see. So you're saying that women actually bring something different and maybe sometimes better to the to the table? Not, not necessarily but I think a lot of people in our team um, they did not have a hi-fi background so they have come with a level of passion for music and that's the common denominator that really um, joins us all together that's the thing that we have in common i would say about 90 percent of the people who work at lynn and that's no over exaggeration own a lynn product and so everyone regardless of gender have this huge passion for music that's what you know unites us and so um in terms of what they bring it's just the it's that that drive you know we want to do well we care and i think caring is really what makes the difference so what would you recommend to the industry if we're still seeing it move very slowly? And you guys have had good luck at Lynn with bringing a more diverse workforce and I assume uh, more diverse customers as well. What kind of recommendations would you have? Um, it's a good question. I think um, maybe not having assumptions that you have to know or uh, you, know, you have to have a really, really solid technical background or really deep knowledge of hi-fi products or the legacy, you know, these, a lot of the people we work with, they've been around for 40 years. They've been doing this for 40 years and there's no way I'm ever going to have that same breadth of knowledge that they have um, because I've come to this much later. But what we can do is um, look to learn as much as we can and learn about other brands, learn about what people are doing, what the industry is doing, keep our fingers on the pulse um, and with that you know, really establish our own level of credibility and be taken seriously. And I think that's one of the challenges that sometimes we encounter is that, you know, a young female person turns up in a store full of older gentlemen generally, um, and we have to establish that credibility and build that level of trust there um, to really make our mark. Right. Well, it does take time, but you've got to get started uh, soon for that time to t take place. Thank you so much for taking a few moments and, you know, sharing this with us and and this is a success story that we're hearing from Len so I really appreciate it thank you no worries absolutely thanks so much thank you Katie hey it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland we're here at Expona 2023